The Isle of Wight, located off the south coast of England, is known to many as the UK's Dinosaur Island. Having been to this place many times before to visit the island's fantastic dinosaur museum and many fossil-rich beaches, I thought it would be an exciting project to walk around the entire coastline of the island, filming along the way to show people why this is such a unique place. So I convinced Doug to come along too and in late September we set off on this very good and perfectly reasonable idea of mine that did not go wrong in the slightest. Right, so we're finally here um, to begin our six day trip across along the Isle of Wight and uh, unfortunately you can probably hear, hopefully not too loud, the hovercraft in the background. I think they're doing training because they keep going out yeah, and coming weird. back in. So Anyway, hope you'll join us on our six day expedition around the Dinosaur Island. Nothing's gonna go wrong at all. It's all so long! Ah! That's a nice sign. Pretty good ideas, Ben. Yeah. One of them. Our journey began once we set off from Ride Hoverport, heading east in a clockwise direction around the island. Right, well, continued walking for a bit. And we're going the right way. Yeah. We'll find out in about 10 minutes. Going like clockwise around the island should be the correct way to go. So we, uh, we went the wrong way, but now hopefully we're going the right way. Um, so this is our first geographical embarrassment. And looking exceedingly embarrassed. Yeah. Um, it's not that far. Apparently, it wasn't his fault. After making Susan? friends with a few horses, Susan, she's ignoring me again. We realised we were going to have to cross some wetlands. Luckily, there was a very convenient and pretty cool path to follow. This is also where we got very excited it's about gone. seeing a fish. <laughs> there is. There is. Get it quick. What? What is? No idea if we can see that. No, probably not. After passing through the town of Bembridge, we then came to an unfortunate realisation. Now oh, this is a nice view. But I have a horrible feeling we're going to have to climb up that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you wouldn't say that. Indeed, we were going to have to climb up that. However, the bay we were looking down on here is called Whitecliff Bay, and is actually a good fossil hunting location where you can find ammonites, other shells, and even shark teeth. By the time we were starting to climb the hill, the island's delusion had already set in. The cliffs are so badly put together by the inhabitants of the Isle of Wight, they have to use steel rods to keep them in place. <laughs> but these, if these weren't here, the entire island would collapse under the weight of itself. So badly designed by King Henry VIII in 1942. <laughs> and it only got worse from there. Bathe me in a mortal glory, I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, the camera can't see anything either. Don't gaze upon me, O gods of old! Sadly, Doug was not too impressed with my interest in the rocks. There's some geology here. The flint nodules. Oh, in the chalk. Fascinating. Fascinating. Oh, <sighs> bloody geologists. <laughs> After cresting the hill, we could at last see a glimpse of our final destination for the day. Sand down. We're, we're so going? close. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Only two hours. Two oh, hours to go. It looks quite close. Everything looks quite close. That <laughs> looks quite close. It does actually. Yeah, you realise. Wait. It's not that close. That's, that's where we're walking to tomorrow, I think. Oh. There's somewhere. A massive hill. Oh, yeah, this will be definitely be the oh. biggest hill we have. To be fair, I did think this hill we just went up was the only hill on the Isle of Wight, but I may be wrong. I told you. <laughs> you may have hill. been wrong about that. This is chaos. <laughs> oh. Averland! Yay! Uh, the land! land. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> We're so destroyed. 
Day one, people, day one. Wait a second. This feels familiar. This was the same location where we had first filmed during our previous Isle of Wight expedition, above Yeverland Beach, another good fossil locality which has actually yielded the Maniraptoran dinosaur Yeverlandia, as well as a species of Ornithochirid pterosaur, Corchicephalus. We walked further into the town of Sandown, looking for somewhere to find food, but then tragedy struck. Quick update, we went to the fish and chip shop for uh, dinner. They're closed for their annual clean down. <laughs> so it was sausage rolls for lunch and it's carp sausage rolls for dinner. We might treat ourselves to an apple or something too. <laughs> Maybe even a banana. Yep. This, this is the second place we've been to that's shut and now we haven't got enough time to go anywhere else. Been quite a nice sunset here. Pity we're not at the campsite sitting down to appreciate it. Still walking. <laughs> <laughs> we eventually made it to our campsite, just about in time before it got dark, and then had to set up the tent for the first time. It honestly didn't go as terribly as I thought it would. Gotta be honest, I thought this was going to be less successful than it has been so far. Yeah, we've actually got a tent. Which, to be fair, likely means we've already done something wrong and just haven't noticed. I'm That's sure we will by morning. <laughs> the tent collapses in the middle of the night. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to give you a house tour where we're staying. So here we have the Gosh, prestigious yeah. <laughs> master bedroom. <laughs> um, and then, unfortunately, that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the biggest house. In fact, it's a tent. And over here, we've got a uh, uh, patio. <laughs> That's you. Nice uh, kind of semi outdoor area where we're storing the bags. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, now we're going to go to bed and sleep because we're dead. Yep. Oh. Well, we've made it through the night. It wasn't too cold, pretty decent temperature. Uh, and now we journey onwards to Ventnor. Everything aches. <laughs> oh god! And the tent is gone. After dismantling the tent, we journeyed onwards to the first stop of the day, the town of Shanklin. We unfortunately realised we wouldn't have time to visit the fantastic Dinosaur Isle Museum in Sandown, which we had walked past the previous day, but we have filmed in there before in our last Isle of Wight video, so make sure you check out that too. Once arriving in Shanklin, we were treated to the sight of just how far we had walked. Right, so how far have we walked, do you think, in total? <laughs> uh, well, that's the monument we were at, like, when yesterday? About 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock yesterday? <laughs> no, it's like 6 o'clock. Oh. We were way too late, you can just oh, about yeah, see yeah. it. Oh yeah, yeah, About 5, 6 o'clock yesterday, we were at that little spire, if you zoom in. Yeah, you can just about see it. But I did not top... realise how, uh, how far we'd walked. Also, the, sound, come out there. the sound, the sea's awesome, the sea sounds awesome. And you can just about see, probably not on here, Dinosaur Isle which unfortunately we could not go to today because we would not be this far along otherwise. Yeah. But we're going to Jurassic Gym. Jurassic Gym, unless he doesn't listen to him. <laughs> Hopefully he will. Yeah, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Maybe the name of Jurassic Gym. Yeah. Anyway, onwards. We then walked past a place called Pirate's Cove and Jurassic Bay Adventure Golf, which amused me a great deal. Is that a Megalania we've spotted? <laughs> There's a lot of cool old dinosaurs in there. After stopping for lunch, when we finally got our fish and chips, we, my chips. we quickly stopped off at Shanklin Beach, which we had heard was another good fossil hunting locality. So we've come to Shanklin Beach, which is apparently a very good place to find fossils of dinosaurs and mollusks. Uh, cliffs back there, 
a part of the lower Greensand formation. And uh, unfortunately, we can't, doesn't seem like we can get too far around because the tide is quite high. So we'll leave the fossil hunting to another day, I think. But this is apparently a very good site to find some good fossils. Just not today. But despite not finding any fossils of our own on the beach, that didn't stop us seeking them out one way or another. This is Jurassic Gym, a brilliant shop located in Shanklin filled with fossils from all over the place, as well as a variety of other fascinating objects. Jim has been fossil hunting pretty much his whole life, and also has contacts that allow him to sell some very unique specimens in his store, which has actually been voted the number one shop on the island on TripAdvisor. Jim was an incredibly friendly guy, and gave us some great advice on what to look out for when we go hunting on the island, even providing us with his guide to fossiling for free, and signed, as well as a piece of dinosaur bone so that we'd know what it would look like. We've just come out from Jurassic Gems, he's a really nice bloke, and um, gave us loads of advice on how to find fossils all over the Isle of Wight. Um, we'll put links to his website or Facebook or whatever we can find in the description. Please go check him out, and if you're ever on the Isle of Wight, go visit the shop, it's really, really cool and uh, good value. <laughs> it is actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, brilliant stuff. And now we've, I don't know why I picked up Ben's bag, but now we've got to carry on and try and get to the next place before it gets dark. So, yep. Hey, too. So, after leaving Jim's store, we continued on our trek towards our final stop for this day, the town of Ventnor. However, we soon ran into a slight issue with the local animals. We've uh, just come into a bit of a bit of a blockage on the path, uh, in the form of Bessie and her friends. They're not going to charge us, but I'll carry on filming just in case they do. Flocking this way. Yeah. We just go on your way. We don't want any trouble. We're just gonna slowly walk past. Should we? Sh I'm gonna slowly approach, and at least my death will be filmed for the enjoyment of the Benji Thomas subscribers. God, what's the worst that can happen? They wouldn't dare do anything on camera. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, but uh... are there any more around here? I'd say not. How is this the coastal path? This is terrible. As we can see here, there's never looks the cows are in this area. I wonder where they are. <laughs> Luckily we did survive the encounter, and advanced once again on our odyssey. At this point, everything was hurting, and so we started to come up with ways of making things easier on ourselves. It didn't always work. Yeah, do it again. Ow. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to do it with one arm. Do it sideways. With both. What's <laughs> my no. Yeah, you're going to destroy that. Not that heavy. Sweet. Wishing seat. I wish. Sit down. It works! <laughs> but at long last, we made it to the town of Ventnor, where fortunately we were staying at an Airbnb instead of another campsite. That evening, I had a proper look at what we had got from Jurassic Gym. Made it to our Airbnb in Ventnor. Now I've just got this out from uh, Jurassic Jim himself. Bought these couple of ammonites here and he gave us an example of an Isle of Wight dinosaur bone. You can see there's uh, we'll focus, holes where blood vessels will have run through and some of it's been infilled by calcite. He gave us this for free, which is really nice of him. As well as this uh, essential guide to fossiling on the Isle of Wight. The signature as well. Very nice guy, I would definitely recommend going to this shop if you're in Shanklin. Anyway, we're going to have to leave the quest there for now, but there is much more to this story which we'll be sharing in a part two, including some more successful fossil hunting, an attack by a real dinosaur, and many close calls on the roads. 
There also happens to be some bonus scenes that we haven't shown here, but which will eventually be uploaded to our Patreon, so if you feel like supporting us in that way, you will also get access to some more clips of our misadventure that didn't make it into this cut. Flushing in dots. <laughs> as well as other bonus content. For example, a review of my personal fossil collection. So, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you're looking forward to part 2. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.